This here is my experiment to show you how a garter spring type valve rotator works. As you can see here, I've taken a regular slinky and I've connected it together at the end over here with tape. And then this is a spool of thread. As you can see here, it's just a regular old spool of thread that acts as the, uh, the valve. And then the uh, piece of paper is one side of the valve rotator and this lid to a Ziploc container will be the other side. And uh, the way the, the garter spring rotator works is when the valve is open, uh, the top of the valve gets pushed on by the valve rotator or it gets pushed on by the rocker arm. The valve rotator, which is this piece here, has a washer with the valve keepers on the one end and a washer with a race on the other end that sits on top of the valve springs. The purpose of this is to rotate the valve as the uh, valve is opening and closing. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate how the spring acts when it gets compressed. See, the way this works is the spring, when it gets compressed, the coils of the spring will lay over. They wanna lay over because it gets pushed down on this side, so they lay over and that act of them laying over causes a rotation in the one washer with respect to the other. And that's what rotates the valve. Now in the valve, it, it kind of makes like a, almost like a ratcheting mechanism where when the spring coils lay over and it shifts the washer, the washer will essentially stay there and then as the, as the valve is released and the coils will just upright. Um, that way there, it'll keep moving the valve in a circle. It's kind of hard to, to do that with the slinky because there's just not enough pieces here to demonstrate it. But you can at least see that when I push on on the center here where the valve is, you can see how how the slinky coils lay over and, and the, the lid to the container spins. So in the valve, this would stay and then it would get pushed and then stay and push and stay. And you see how each time when it comes back up, the spring coils straighten out and they shift. So if I push down on this, you see they rotate and then it stays and I push down, they rotate, and it comes back up. And that constant motion in the engine amounts to, it's like a three and a half revolution per minute as the, uh, as the engine is running at, at what is most, for most engines, most Continental engines, max rated RPM, which is 2,700 RPM, it'll be three and a half revolutions per minute. At cruise speed, it's probably closer to one revolution per minute. Uh, but that helps keep the valve wearing evenly, and it'll make an even heat signature on the top of the exhaust or on the face of the exhaust valve. Um, so that's my my quick um, and crude demonstration of a garter spring exhaust valve rotator uh, that's commonly found in uh, Continental engines. So thank you for viewing the video.